Dear students, you know what bottom-up proteomics is. It is a legacy proteomics protocol that has been widely used to identify and characterize protein sequences. Today, I'm going to talk about the multiple options that you have for bottom-up proteomics. The first one is the peptide mass fingerprinting. And the second one is called shotgun proteomics. We're going to talk in detail about both of these protocols. But just to introduce them to you, the peptide mass fingerprinting, this approach takes the peptides from the sample, which is a protein or multiple proteins, which have been digested by an enzyme, and you measure the mass of the peptides that result from the digestion process. In shotgun proteomics, as is obvious from the name, you have a shotgun and you shoot at the proteins and therefore the entire sample is fragmented. So this is the basic difference between these two approaches for bottom-up proteomics. Let's take a look at them in detail. As you can see in this figure from your textbook, the proteins that you have in the sample need to be separated so if you have, let's say, protein 1, protein 2, protein 3, and so on and so forth, then you need to separate them first before taking them to the enzymatic digestion step. So in peptide mass fingerprinting, the most important thing that you should remember is that the proteins need to be separated first from the protein mixture and then a single protein can be selected for onward digestion from an enzyme. So once you digest it with an enzyme, then of course you can insert the peptides into the mass spectrometer and measure their mass and go on to compare them with the peptides from the sequence database. Different to the peptide mass fingerprinting approach, in the shotgun proteomics approach, what you do is you take the entire protein mixture and instead of separating the mixture into proteins P1, P2, P3 and so on, you actually insert all of these proteins into the enzymatic digestion process. So once the proteins are digested into peptides, then you can separate these peptides using any method, for instance, a gel or chromatography, etc. So the difference between bottom-up proteomics and shotgun proteomics is that in shotgun proteomics, you take the entire protein mixture and you digest it and you obtain the resultant peptides for onward separation and mass measurement using the mass spectrometer. So once you have obtained the peptides and measured them, then you can search for the precursor protein in the sample. So to conclude, the bottom-up proteomics method, it measures the peptides that are resulting from the precursor protein. There are two approaches, the shotgun proteomics approach and the peptide mass fingerprinting approach, wherein the shotgun proteomics digests the entire protein mix into peptides and which you can measure using the mass spectrometer. But in the peptide mass fingerprinting, First, you separate the proteins and then you digest each protein into its peptides for onward search using the sequence database.